In this video, I want to uh, talk about a key that General Motors used from 1986 to 2004. And I also want to show you how to measure the key, so if you have one, you can, you can get a replacement. Um, the key is called VATS key, which stands for Vehicle Anti-Theft System, and it's also known as Pass Key 1 and Pass Key 2, but it's, it's better known as just VATS key. Um, the reason GM started using this key is because they had a high theft rate on the uh, Corvette, uh, Chevy Corvette model. So they hired Briggs & Stratton to come out with a system for them to lower that theft rate, and uh, Briggs & Stratton came out with the uh, VATS system. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Briggs & Stratton not only makes small engines, but they also make um, very good locks and uh, keys for cars. And I think General Motors is probably their, their biggest client. But um, anyway, um, the VATS key was, was available in two different types, and these are the two different types. Um, this key, I think, was used from 1986 to uh, 1996. Then they came out with the double-sided key, um, it, which they used until, I think the last year was 2004. This is called a single-sided six-cut VATS key, and this is called a double-sided ten-cut VATS key. And the reason they're called that is is because uh, this single-sided six-cut, you put six cuts on one side of the key, which is here. And on the double-sided ten-cut, you put uh, ten cuts on each side of the key, which is here and here. What makes these keys unique is this um, resistor which is embedded in the uh, metal part of the key here. Um, and on each side, this resistor protrudes on each side of the key so you can see there it's protruding here and on the other side. And when you insert this key into the ignition lock there's contacts that make contact with each side of the key and your VAT system is able to read um, the value of this resistor. Um, a VATS key has 15 different VATS code, codes. Um, they're numbered 1 through 15. Each code corresponds to a specific um, resistance value. So uh, when you replace your key, you have to make sure that you, you, you get the right VATS code. Otherwise, um, you can have the key cut. It will turn your lock, but it won't start your car. Um, Another thing I should mention is uh, VATS code number one had a low uh, ohm value um, and it gave the VATS system problems so it was discontinued in 1989 so VATS code one was only used from 1986 to 1988 so when they started making the double sided key in 1997 um, the double sided key was only available um, in VATS code two through uh, fifteen. Uh, I made a chart showing the uh, relationship between the VATS code, which is uh, VATS codes 1 through 15, and the uh, resistance or ohms value of the resistor. Um, here are the ohm values in K ohms and um, the ohms value in ohms. And I will uh, put this stuff, this uh, chart, in the uh, description below the video. Alright, so uh, how do you measure the keys? Um, get yourself an ohm meter doesn't matter uh, if it's cheap or expensive. Um, this is just a cheap Harbor Freight meter. Put it on the 20K setting. That means that your, your value displayed in the uh, display is going to be in K ohms. Uh, take your two leads. This is how I do it. Um, you know, I don't have anybody to help me, so I take one lead and I press it against. Uh, you want to make sure that your leads only touch the resistor part of this key, which is just this thin area right here and it's that's true on both sides you do not want the leads to touch the metal part of the key or it's going to throw off your reading so I take my um, lead press it against that resistor take the other lead and press it against the other side this is much easier to do if you have someone that can hold the key for you and then you can measure the the other person can measure the resistance, but um, I kind of hold it there and kind of I can balance it and, and feel that it's not touching the key blade. And then I take my reading, and you can see on the meter it's um, 3.73 k ohms. You can convert k ohms to ohms by multiplying it times a thousand, and all that means is you move the decimal place three places to the right. So if you, if you don't have enough, enough numbers to go three places, you can add a zero, so it'd be um, 3,730 3, ohms. Then you take your um, chart, which I'll put in the description, and find the closest value. So it was, what, um, 3.730. 
so the closest value would be number 10, um, 3.740. Uh, the reason it's not exact is because resistors are never exact. They're sold in tolerances. You can have a tolerance of 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%. So, for example, if I bought a resistor that's 100 ohms and it has a tolerance of 5%, that means the actual measured value of that resistor can be anywhere from 95 to 105. So it's plus and minus 5% of whatever um, resistor value you purchase. So, and I'm not sure what the tolerance is in the resistors used in this keys, but just remember that it's probably not going to be exactly the exact value in this chart. But if you're measuring the key correctly, it should be very close to um, to one of these values. So now I'll do the same thing with the uh, double-sided key. Take my lead, press it on one side, and take the other lead on, press it to the other side, and I'm getting a value of. Um, 0.52 which is um, 0.52 K ohms and uh, like I said to convert it from K ohms to ohms um, move the decimal place three three places to the right if you can't um, if you don't have enough numbers just add a zero so this this value is actually 520 ohms so if you look at your chart 520 ohms is closest to um, 523, so this the value of this uh, this key is a VATS code number two. So if I wanted to order another key, I'd order a VATS code number two, and then the previous key we measured was a VATS code number ten, which is 3,740 ohms. So I know this is a VATS code number ten, and this is a VATS code number two. Uh, before I end this video, um, if you're having trouble measuring your keys, uh, maybe you don't know how to use a meter or maybe you just don't have a meter, uh, you can take your VATS key down to your local GM dealer and they should uh, measure it for you uh, for free. Um, just ask them to give you the VATS code. It will be a number between 1 and 15. And then once you have that code, you can, you can get a replacement key. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching.